was um, just out and about today. Um, had a uh, sort of a double sort of a um, signal here. It was hitting one side of the coil and hitting the other. So yeah, I thought I'd check it and um, out popped this little one. Yeah, not a bad start. Probably been here, probably started about 10 minutes ago. So yeah, I'm running the machine a little bit quieter and smoother today just to pick up um, what's been sort of left behind. I like to run the machine noisy for a start just to pick up the deeper sort of the signals and but yeah, so and then I'll run over it when it's a, and then run it a little bit quieter and smoother just to pick up the bits that I've left behind when it's been and I'll run it the other way. So yeah. Well, that's a good little start for the day anyway. Perfect weather for it, not a breath of wind, sun shining. What else would you want? Alright, hopefully we can snag onto some more. Um, just let you have a listen. This is some of the signals I'm listening for with the Zeb when I'm running it a bit quieter. Yeah, so that's just an idea of what I'm actually listening for with that might be a smaller bit. Yeah, it's double bleeping. So yeah, it might be a small bit. Yeah, probably about an inch or so down. But yeah, sometimes that's even lead sounds like that. But yeah, anyway, I'll have a scratch at him and um so how we go with this one hopefully it turns into a bit of gold uh, it took a bit to find this one um yeah it's bloody small be lucky to be 0.03 of a gram lucky a very thin small piece hmm oh well they all add up but jesus christ that's small Nice shiny little bit though. Oh well, can't complain. It's yellow, so yeah. Hey, anyway, we'll get back into it. Got a nice, really, oh, really nice little signal here. Sounds like it's sort of just on the edge there. So yeah, we'll have a scratch and um, see what comes out. Alright, I'm going to try to do this without the phone interfering with the coil or the detector. So it's in this little clump of clay here. I've just dropped off. It. So, see so how we go. Gold anyway, but uh, it's got a bit of thickness to him. It's a nice little piece. It'll clean up nice. So a bit of clay in that on him. Won't take much to clean that. Might have a bit of iron on him too, but it looks if I can get a hold of it properly. It won't take much to clean him up. But you can see the clay that there, that's a bit of, as I keep saying, uh, saying about it, De it's like a decomposed iron, um, pipe clay. This is what the old miners were digging through to find the gold. Um, this is, you'd see it on top of the mallet heaps. You'll see this sort of clay and a white clay, that's a pipe clay, which um, your gold sort of settles into. But yeah, uh, even um, the lease holders, this is in Victoria, this is what they're digging through and it holds the sort of the bigger pieces as well. Yeah, I like digging into that sort of stuff because pretty much guarantee it's going to be gold unless it's a shaft and they've tunneled across and put um, 
boards and everything out with nails. Yeah. Gotta love digging in this stuff. It's nice and soft at the moment because of the rain we had, so. Yeah, can't complain. All right then, guys, cheers. Yeah, I've got a pretty funny signal here. It could be rubbish. Yeah, don't know if we'll have a look anyway to see what comes out. Well, we got him out. It's actually pretty bloody good depth. Um, yeah, it's not overly deep, deep, but for what it is, yeah, I can't complain about that. But um, I was about 90% sure it was going to be a bit of trash, but um, this is why you've got to check everything. People who say they can destroy distinguish gold from like gold signal from lead or from any other target um there's no way um you can't like i thought i've been detecting for a very long time and i still can't tell the difference between signals um there was one i thought i used to be able to I thought, you know, I had a signal, I thought it was lead, I scraped the ground, it came out, and it got the better of me, next day I went back out and I actually checked it, it was actually a bit of gold, um, it was shaped like a bit of lead, like a lead shot, out of a, like out of a um, shotgun, so yeah, you can't, you've got to check every signal, so even like this one, I thought oh, I was going to be a nail or something, but... No, it was actually a bit of gold, but it's really, really thin. Really thin. But, yeah. Another thing is, um, people, I've had a few questions about, you know, how you get a signal in the ground, and you're digging it, and it's getting louder and louder every time you're um, getting closer to it. And when you finally get the target out, it quietens off in, the, in your throw out. What that is, is your gold's in a, um, it's got what we call a halo effect, which is just minerals and that around the gold. So when it's in the ground, it actually, that's what throws that signal. When you disturb the ground, it actually breaks that halo up. And when it's out of the ground, it hasn't got it. So you lose that um, response. The other thing it could be, you know, when it goes quiet, when it's out, is the, the gold could be sitting flat in the heap and you're only just picking it up. That's another reason why it could be, or it could be only a small bit of gold that's being buried over by your throw out because you've gone a bit overboard with your dig. That's why I like to take my time with, I think the targets are small, just slowly scrape, scrape, check, scrape, scrape, check. Um, yeah, cause you, I've gone over a lot of people's holes that they've dug and you can see big clods of dirt like this. And it, obviously that's master target and they've gone, I was just ground or so they've kicked it back over and not checked the hole and I come along and I check it and I get a signal, I slowly scrape it back out. And yeah, it's usually gold sitting in the dirt that they've kicked back in the hole. So yeah, you've got to take your time digging. Um, a lot of people, you'll just go hell out of, butt out of hell of digging just to get the target out and they lose it. Including you throwing dirt everywhere, especially in this clay, it'll stick to your pick and then you can actually, when you throw your pick into the ground, the, bit of clay might fly off in the distance that might have had the target in it so yeah just be careful of when you're digging um don't go silly but yeah that's the main reason why a nugget or a tart like a gold nugget will sound great in the ground but as soon as you get it out it will lose that signal that'd be the reason why so i hope that helps a few people out and yeah I hope, you know, there's been a few that have said they've got the signal out and it's just disappeared and they've kicked it back over and it's gone, but they could be the reasons. Or, you know, it could be in a clump of dirt and when you've dug it out, it's flipped over and the nugget's underneath. 
and you're waving the coil over and, and it's not actually picking it up so it's good to sort of spread your pile out a little bit just, and make sure you flick these sort of bigger pieces over just in case all right then guys i hope this helps a few out there cheers they had a pretty good uh, response in here um not overly deep that pop this little one nice little bit so yeah probably about half a gram at the moment so yeah not ticking along too bad hopefully we can get up a couple of grams be even better all right then guys cheers all right um i had a signal like there is a little bit of rubbish here so i've been sort of picking the signals this one had a sort of like an inverted wobbly signal so it stood out to the other one so i thought i'll check it and yeah pop this one it's a nice piece so i can get into focus there we go yeah really that's uh, not thick or anything it's pretty smooth and thin it's like the other bits that i've got yeah pretty loud signal there just a scrape out pop this one yeah nice little bit um so this was another target i'll come back and checked and uh, come this one so then there was this one that was one I just dug before, and the one that was just under about a gram, dug just there. So yeah, nice. So it should be about one and a half grams thereabouts for the morning so far. Alright, we'll keep on going and see how we go. Cheers guys. Because of the moisture in the ground and the wet grass and that, the machines are pretty moany groany but you've got to really take your time with them when they're like this. Have a listen. Oh, it's not too bad here, but where was it? really moany but then if you listen carefully hear that gargle let's move that out of the way That there I'm hoping there's a target that's gold at Yeah, so I'll have a scratch anyway and we'll see how we go. Alright, so we're down a couple inches here. Yeah, we'll let you have a listen. Love that when it sounds like that. Usually it's a bit of odd shaped gold or with a bit of depth. So hopefully this will be a nice sort of like a gram upwards. Um, yeah, I'm hoping anyway. Just yeah, sort of top the morning off. Yeah, we'll keep digging and we'll see. Well, actually, might actually um, oh, keep going. See if we can dig this one handed. Pretty easy digging, it's not too bad. Um, probably picked, I think the last time I was on here, in this spot, I think I picked up about five grams or something for the day. So I thought I'd come back to this spot today and have another crack at it, it's been a while. Oh, get me out of there. And it's actually where I brought the kids 
couple, oh, about a month or so ago. All right, so we're out. Let's move the pig out of the way. It's on the coil. There it is. Oh, is that all? I thought it was going to be a lot bigger than that. That's puny. Funny how it gargled like that. Usually, when they come up like that, I'll, they're about a gram close to. That's nowhere near it. <laughs> hmm. Might have been a bit of mineralization, like the clothes and that, that done that, but. Ah, well. Alright. Hopefully, you get onto a couple more and something a bit bigger. Alright, then, guys, cheers. This is one of the targets that I definitely wanted to come back to because that really, really screamed at me. Um, not deep at all. Uh, pop that one. Yeah, that's a nice little bit. Doing all right this morning. Quite enjoying it. Yeah, um, so hopefully we can find a couple more along through here. Um, yeah. All right. Hopefully be back shortly guys. Um got a signal here. Pretty loud. I kicked two rocks out of the way there. Um so I dug that one up there, that one up there. Um the other one there. And the other one just up there. Um I won't dug any more across here. Oh yeah, one back further. That's right. So yeah, now. Yeah, so I'll have a scratch at this one. Um, i say it's going to be a bit of gold. So yeah, we'll be back shortly. Ah, well, it wasn't that deep at all, but when it came out of the hole, it really screamed. So I must have been sitting on its edge when um, we first detected it. Because yeah, this is it here. Yeah, that really, really screened its nutter off once it was out of the ground. Got a little bit of thickness to him, probably about a gram, I'd say. Yeah, can't believe that. The amount of gold I've just picked up in this little area here. Yeah, probably, oh geez, be close to over two grams now. So, uh, yeah, happy days. All right then, guys, cheers. It's actually quite surprised me about where I actually am. I thought, you know, there was a bit of rubbish up here. It was just by the signals, and that, you know, as I said before, I'll go back and check them. But um, I've actually picked no rubbish up, none whatsoever. It's all been gold. So, yeah, I think I've got about 12 bits or something. 
for no rubbish. Um, I had a sort of an iffy sort of a signal here and I, I scratched at it to see what was going on and started coming through pretty clear. Got a bit of depth to him. Although my shadow is in the hole and you can't really see, but yeah, a bit of depth there. But um, yeah, pop this one. Another flat, smooth piece. So this area I think I've probably oh, well over 10 grams off this spot um, from the first time I came here to now and when I had the kids here. So yeah, it's paid off pretty well this little area. Yeah, all right, well, we'll keep going. Hopefully get onto some more. I got another screaming signal here. Yeah, I'll scrape at him and see how we go with it. Oh. I can't remember where I just had it. Oh, bugger, where was it? So I just cracked the surface off the top of it. I'll just break the ground up, scoop the old spoils back. Because I know it's not far down. I'm not going to go smashing into this. Without interfering with it, oh bugger. <clears throat> I think this is where it's one corner. Hard doing this one handed. Got a bit of sort of length or something to the target, or a bit of thickness. Yeah, I can't even bloody find it. That was it. Oh, bugger it. There is a little bit of delay. It really is standing out. Small, but yeah. All right, let's get going. 